everybody as you saw from that title today we're going to be making oven baked barbecue ribs now let's get started all right so to start out with our ribs here we have a three pound slab of ribs and that included this extra piece here which i'm going to trim down a little bit so here this piece is fine no extra fat i'm just going to try to trim off any excess fat like right here you see this so i want to try to get this out of here <laughs> Probably should be using a better knife. Y'all pray for me. That I don't cut myself. <laughs> all right. So, just like to trim it down. You can bake it with all that on it. If you're making it in a grill, it's not a bad idea to have the extra fat. But being that I'm making it in the oven, eh, you don't need it. You don't want it to just, just be sitting in that excess grease. But on the grill, it might be um, not too bad because it's going to cook at a different heat and it's going to basically cook off all that excess fat so so I just want to just trim it up a bit all right so not too bad that's actually bone so here we have the back portion here of the pork chops and then this is what I really want to get at I want to get all this excess fat off Nothing is worse than having a big old piece of fatty rib. So you want to get this off. So just pull that off. Some people actually remove this excess skin in the back as well, but I'm going to leave that. I'm just going to just take off a good amount of this fat. This excess piece here, it's like the skin. I forgot what it's called. It'll come to me in a minute, but I don't want this on here because it's just too much hanging off the side so let's go ahead and get rid of that and again as much as this fat that you can just pull up and pull off why not take it off you're not going to be eating the grease that's sitting in the bottom of the pan so let's just get it off as much as we can Right, that looks good so now that we got these all trimmed up let's get our hands a wash before we move on to the next step okay now that we got them all trimmed up let's get them seasoned up so here we have some onion powder garlic powder and all-purpose seasoning actually it's called complete by saison then I have here some parsley flakes paprika and black pepper each of these I have a teaspoon except for the black pepper which I have a half a teaspoon so what I'm going to do is just combine them all into one and just give it a quick mix just to mix everything all in one there's no need to put everything separate so keep in mind the all-purpose or the complete seasoning has salt in it so I'm not going to add separate salt also, I'm going to be using barbecue sauce, which has salt in it. So, you don't need to necessarily add a bunch of additional salt. So, now that we have it all mixed up together, what we're going to do is just sprinkle it on our ribs. And you want to get both sides, of course. And these extra pieces here. Alrighty. So, let's get in. Flip it over and season the back side. I'm gonna get all that seasoning in there. <laughs> so I'm just gonna rub it with one of these pieces. Get it in there, get the over here. Get all that seasoning in here. Right, so let's kind of just mix it up. We'll rub it. And again, I'm using three pounds of spare ribs, and I want to cook it on the what would be the skin side down. So let's do that. Let's put these extra pieces on the sides. Actually, I can bring it right here. 
All right, so what I'm gonna do now, this is pretty simple. The seasoning is really what makes these baked barbecue ribs. So what we're gonna do now is go ahead and get these in the oven. If you like it spicy, feel free to add some spice to it, but I'm not gonna add the spice at, um, to this set. So I'm just gonna cover this with some foil and bake it off in a 375 degree oven until they are nice and tender. And then we will be back. All right, everybody. So here our ribs are. Now they have been in the oven cooking for an hour on 375. So now what I'm gonna do is add some sauce. So you can use any sauce you like. You can even make a homemade barbecue sauce, which I will do in another video. But for today, I am using my trusty Kraft Sweet and Spicy barbecue sauce. It is actually one of my faves. What I like to do is pour the sauce and then just make sure it gets all over every piece covered like so. And now I'm gonna put it back in the oven and let this go for about another 20 minutes or so and I'm and I may put it on the broiler afterwards but for now let's put this back in the oven for another 20 minutes all right everybody so here are our finished ribs so what I did was I baked it in the oven for 25 minutes with the cover off after I put the sauce on and then I popped it underneath the broiler on high for four and a half minutes so let me just show you how nice and soft and tender these are Look at that. Cuts super easy without much effort at all. These ribs are looking good and ready to go. They are piping hot. I just got it out the oven. So we are going to wait a while before we try to plate this and give it a quick taste. Okay, everybody. So here we have our plated ribs with some bow tie pasta with broccoli. So let's get right into tasting these ribs. So I'm just going to give it a cut. Actually, I'm cutting on the gristle. It's not that tough. <laughs> so we can try to cut this piece as well. And as you can see, they're cutting fairly easily. This is done perfectly. So let's just give these a quick try. They are absolutely perfect. The thing is, I just wanted to note that as you notice, I use an all-purpose seasoning. I didn't need to add any additional salt. The all-purpose seasoning has salt, as well as the barbecue sauce has salt. So just be careful when you salt the meat. I find sometimes people over salt. And again, you can make the perfect oven-baked ribs. You don't need to parboil. Parboiling is kind of what I would say for if you're using a grill. But in the oven, season them up as just like you like. Add as much sauce as you like. Add spice if you like, just make them nice and tender, okay? And hopefully you will enjoy this as much as I'm going to. Now that was my take on making oven-baked barbecue ribs. The key to making good ribs is to make sure that you bake them long enough to where they are tender and falling off the bone soft. Nobody wants no tough ribs. So what you want to do is make sure you take your fork, test it out at least after an hour of baking, and make sure they're nice and tender. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and I will see you again on the next one. Thanks for watching.